Hey everyone, Exile Prime here, back with another Transformers review, and it's going to be on Legacy, Blaster, and Eject. So we're going to start with the box. Very cool. Nice alt mode. Nice pop from that Kingdom line. Continuing that artwork into Legacy. On the side, you have Blaster close up. Looks really cool. Then you got Blaster down below in an action pose running into battle. On the side of the box, you have Optimus. You got the planet Earth. Rodimus Prime, RC from Prime, Blaster again, Bulkhead from Prime, and Cybertron. And down below we got the Legacy and the Authentic Transformers. On the back of the box you have Blaster, 20 steps to get into his alt mode, nice boom box, nice artwork there. Down below you have Eject, actually it's above, 8 steps from Cassette to Robot mode. And then they also are going to add to make sure when he transforms into the cassette, you can open up his chest and pop them right in and close. So he'll be able to store one cassette transformer, which is very, very cool. So that's going to be it for the box. Now, moving right along, we're going to be taking a look at Blaster here. And uh, the boom box does not disappoint. It's very G1. I think they captured it very well especially with the detail with all the knobs and buttons and everything like that for a cassette you have this down here you know for the different uh, they even added in the details it's hard to see if I can even get that because the, they have like the play button here rewind fast forward and then the stop button right here and they have uh, all the symbols right there on there it's very very cool so Moving on to the side, the only thing is you see the feet stick out and it has that little gap there. So maybe somebody from a third party can uh, cover that up. But the 5mm uh, peg hole, that's totally fine. I have no issue with that. They have two peg holes right up here as well. Like Nice handle and everything. I think that's pretty cool. Underneath like that, it looks pretty neat as well. Over here, looks good. On the back, you have the weapon storage for for his gun. Very G1. Very cool. Nice detail. They didn't skip a beat on this whatsoever. And there's a little slot right there on the handle and that's how it pegs into that right here. This little peg. So nice weapon storage there. So we'll just set it right there just like that. So now the other thing is, how does the boom box work? You just come up here, press that, opens up the chest, you can remove, eject, close the chest, set them down just for a second, readjust, and as you can see, just to bring in one other fellow cassette, even though this is a Decepticon, I believe this is wing thing, uh, I could be wrong, it's been a while since I handled this figure from the it's been sitting on the shelf for a while but same size and everything like that set that down just want to see if uh, these are gonna fit in here usually this this type would uh, get stuck in sound wave Ooh, I'm not liking that okay flip it around they always had that like that bigger size and everything like that okay that actually worked very cool so and it actually opens and can you get him out though let's look at eject overall I think he's pretty cool for a little mini bot little cassette and we're gonna go ahead and do the transformation it's very very simple let's get his arm out just like that then let's see Gotta remember here. I gotta get my thumbnail right there. Just being very cautious because these these little pegs and everything, it's all very, very small. And also he's translucent plastic throughout the whole thing because they're going with that energon gimmick. They're like weapons and stuff like that, but nothing wrong with that. There we go. This has some nice articulation for this little mini bot. There we go. And 
just turn the head. Just like that. So just to have them standing right next to Blaster. Blaster is in his alt mode. Give you a size comparison there. And also I'm going to bring in this little guy from the Generation Selects line. So they are about the same size. Yeah, very cool. So overall the articulation, he does have full 360 on the shoulder. His arm about right there. He does have the elbow joint because of the ball joint there, I would say. Yeah, a little swivel. Head can already do the full 360. We'll have to take a look at that. There is no waist articulation whatsoever. Obviously, he can kick forward. He can do the splits due to the transformation. So, and also obviously, he can kick back. The transformation for Blaster is a lot of fun. And going through step by step, I gotta say that I'm not disappointed with this figure whatsoever. I can't see anybody being disappointed with this. It's just they really did a good job with it. Um, I just wish I would have got the Kingdom one when it did, but hey, nothing wrong with that. The overall thing is, it was nice that Hasbro decided to re-release this figure into Legacy in the Wave 1 with the Voyager, along with uh, Bulkhead. So they, uh, everybody was able to get one. Because I've never even seen a Kingdom uh, Blaster whatsoever, but it's the same figure, so no big deal there. And right here I just want to point out, you got to remember to get these guys and pop these to the other side. That one's just not cooperating. Maybe we go the other way. There we go. It works. One thing I noticed that these feet are very hard to get pry, but since you give them the weapon, I like how they added that. You get the gun, use the bottom of that, pop them right out, good to go. Uh, just move this up. Turn that around. Uh, let's see, where am I at here? Down. Just do that. And turn the other one. So we're getting there. It says gun right there. Be needing that in just a second. But overall, this figure has been fun to transform. Great representation of Blaster, just in general. I don't find anything in this for 30 bucks to be any type of disappointment. So if you haven't picked them up, I don't understand why you haven't gotten them yet. So overall, I just want to point out that head sculpt. He does get those nice blue eyes. He has that nice silver for the top part of his head with the red wrapped around for the back and on the sides here nice silver face and nose the mouth and chin looks fantastic this is definitely the blaster everyone has been waiting for for quite some time the articulation is as follows his head can do a full 360 just get that out of the way it is on a ball joint so you can look up a little bit and look down it does have that pointing finger so he can Use his cassettes and his wrist does have some extra articulation due to the transformation so he can kind of get his finger to get into that pose like he's about to activate something or play music or something like that and that's very cool so I really like that they did give him a bicep swivel full 360 there really nice shoulder can do a full 360 and his hand can oh his full arm can extend all the way out Lift this up, move his other arm out of the way. Obviously, you can do a full 360 with the waist. So we already done that. Moving down the figure to the legs, does get nice 90 degrees at the knee. Very cool. Does have obviously the thigh swivel, full 360. Does have the ankle tilt as well. 
And the other thing is he can do the splits now. To get him into a nice pose like that, probably not the coolest thing, but he can do it. Transformer Siege Impactor. A little bit larger than normal deluxe next to Voyager Blaster. And bringing in Autobot Skids, also from Legacy. Transformer Siege Ultra Magnus, leader class. And final comparison shot, Transformer Siege Soundwave next to Blaster. Voyager class, Blaster and Eject. Well, I have nothing bad to say. I think the articulation is all there. I don't have any issues there. The money for $31.99. And he still comes with his blaster, and also you get eject. So, I mean, I think that's a pretty good deal. And it's nice that Hasbro, like I said, reissued him into Legacy, so everyone had an opportunity to get him. Uh, presentation. Very G1. I have no issues. I really like the fact that he, he has that Energon look. That the gimmick they're going for for Legacy. Unfortunately, it is translucent plastic, but Eject just looks really, really cool. So, awesome. The overall chest, right in here. I'll just move it out of the way. All in here is, this whole piece is translucent plastic, including how it connects and everything. As you can see, some of it's sticking out near the buttons. But... Overall, I don't think that's a, uh, a deal breaker. Not in this case. So, the other thing I point, uh, want to point out is I got one of my blast effects and it does not go to the end of this gun. So I'm kind of surprised there that it doesn't work while this was part of Kingdom but also going into Legacy. And, and I'm going to point out that Legacy, which I'll bring in uh, skids here real quick, his weapon, at least on these two weapons, these this this solid piece that connects to the this gun, are blast effect compatible. So I'm not really sure. I guess they're making sure this is more accurate from the show. Maybe more G1. I'm not 100% sure on that. So I don't know. That's not a deal breaker, but. I really like the Blast Effect stuff, so it was a darn shame there, but that is not going to ruin this review for this figure. And accessories, like I said, he gets the gun, he gets ejected. I mean, overall, the fun of the transformation is very simplified in some ways, uh, going from alt mode to robot mode, and also with the eject figure as well. I think it is very, very cool. So, where would I rank this? Honestly, I would definitely spend my allowance as long as my wife allows me to buy this and that is definitely very good so hey i'd like to say thank you for stopping by and uh if you happen to watch all the way to the end of this video please remember to subscribe to my channel hit that like button and leave a comment did you like this figure did you like blaster did you find a lot of fun out of it or were you disappointed with eject being translucent throughout the whole body and i'm being very careful with this because eventually you will become brittle so that's going to be a darn shame so hopefully a lot of generation selects uh eventually comes out with some more of his bots like they did with soundwave to kind of complete some of those missing cassette bots so we'll have to wait and see on that so thank you for watching and I'll be bringing more Transformer content very soon.